morning, you guys. It is March 12th. It is Tuesday, March 12th. So that's my Friday because me and Joe take uh, Wednesday and Thursday off right now. Probably going to switch up soon because the time just changed and I'm going to want to try to work as much as possible. But it is good to have time off and days off. Some shit on my lip. Days off so that you don't like burn out and shit. I was feeling a little bit burnt out, honestly, in recent just from like going so fucking hard all the time. But Got to catch up. I want to grind this out this next year, this 2024 year. I want to just grind super fucking hard, make tons of YouTube content, make tons of content in general, work on my fitness, work on my career, work on my art, work on myself, work on my mental, physical, everything this year and just go crazy and really see a huge dramatic uh, upgrade in my whole life this in by 2025 so it's a huge goal of mine i started in january i've been going crazy started with live streaming or started with vlogs with barry then i did now i'm doing this vlog by myself uh trying to create more clips and content i got to get on that today honestly i've been slacking this last week i haven't made any clips um and uh just really going hard on the content learning about editing color grading uh shooting with the camera lenses fucking PC computers, streaming, online software, how to format shit with OBS. Like, dude, there's a lot of stuff. So trying to implement all these things I'm learning now into the tattoo shop so that we can broadcast the tattoo shop and have the tattoo shop be in the forefront. And I know that you guys really enjoy seeing like what happens at the tattoo shop and my art and me as an artist and all these things. So speaking of, I'm gonna start reformatting the vlog one more time again. I've been uh, recording every morning. I do my workouts and then I go to, excuse me, then I go to the shop and then by the time I get to the shop, I edit the vlog and then that's it. And then I fucking put it up by like maybe two o'clock. So I think I'm gonna run the, the vlog throughout the whole day, show you guys more of the tattoo shop and maybe I'll edit things down differently so that the workout period isn't so long. It's maybe five or 10 minutes at most. And it's just one segment of what you see throughout my day. And uh, try to get more shop interactions. Again, I only work five days a week right now, so it's going to be weird during my weekend. But I'm going to try as much as I can. And you can see a little bit what I do after hours. I end up working a lot with uh, Big Al. And we do a lot of editing and a lot of fucking plotting and figuring out the next step. So there's a lot of shit that goes into this. It's not just like get up and go work out and go to work or any of the shit. There's a lot of steps of things that I'd be doing. So I think I'm going to show you more of the steps and more of the stuff, more of my tattoo shot, more of me doing art again. I have some ideas of like tattoo themed videos of how I want to make tattoo content. So it'll be cool to show you guys me drawing and shit. I tried to make one the other day, excuse me, of like a, uh, Time lapse of me drawing a skull, but it wasn't what I envisioned. So I have to rethink the idea, come at it with better um, format, and then, yeah, should be easy enough, though. I'm not really too tripped out about it. Excited to make content this year for you guys. Excited for the support and the love, the community that we build. And, like, it's really dope. You know, I enjoy talking to people every day. I enjoy people giving me advice and helping me out and hitting me up and reaching out to me. It's really cool, man. It's, uh, again, YouTube is my favorite platform, and I've really enjoyed making content for YouTube for, fuck, almost 10 years now. So it's it's been a really good process. Anyways, uh, let's get to Zoo Culture and start with this new format of the vlog. All right, leg day today. Leg day at the zoo. I have a perfect excuse. I got to go. Uh... Ow, fuck, it's in my head. Um, Jesus. Thought I cut myself. Uh, I gotta go get my computer fixed, my gaming PC. I'm taking it into Best Buy at one o'clock, so, and it's already 11.40 or 10.45. Oh, come on. So it's just probably rip like four quick leg exercises. Honestly, nothing even that crazy. I'll probably do, uh, let's see, calf raise, quad extensions maybe hamstring curls and leg press. Just real quick and easy. In and out. Oh, fuck. My back is still super hurting right now. I tweaked it yesterday. So fuck.
Come on. I just tweaked with some audio settings. Hopefully it doesn't sound too drastic, but either way, it was only one clip, so shouldn't be that big a deal. Trying to figure everything out. And with one person, it's a lot easier to have my audio sounding good. And honestly, it's whenever I have two people, two mics going on, and somebody screaming into the mic and shit. Come on. Easy. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> Come on. Oh, fuck, man. Uh, ouch. I'm selling uh, my bike. I don't know if you ever see in the background of my videos, but I have a bicycle hanging on my back wall. And I never, I only rode it one time, and it's not really a comfortable bike. It's a Japanese track bike. So I'm selling it on Facebook and I keep getting a bunch of uh, messages. So that's good. Hopefully, I'll get some money for it. It's an expensive bicycle. A San Ren show track bike, so kind of a specialty thing. Let's go. Go figure, not really feeling legs today. Come on. Fuck. Should have rolled my back. All right, I'm gonna give this one a shot. I always do the other one, but. Uh, what the fuck? Adjust this shit. All right, here we go. Come on. What? This one actually feels better than the red machine. I'm gonna be real. Need to get back on my cardio shit. I've been slacking since I started my live stream. It's been hard for me to have time at night to go do my cardio. But when you want something and it's important, you'll do it. So I'll make I'll make time for it. I'm gonna start waking up early, but I'm already so tired. Come on. What? Oh fuck. Uh. Come on. Low energy, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Need to get one of my a Joe in here to fucking my homies to fucking push me on leg day. Come on. Need a Joe, my Joe Novation. Come on, let's go. There we go. This feels good holding my body tight. <laughs> Come on. Oh, there we go. Carbonated pre-workout sucks, dude. I'm gonna be honest. Ah. Come on. Ouch. Come on. Oh, fun. Ah. Ow. Oof. Shout out to Kanye. It's crazy. The fucking music is so loud that it like picks up in my microphone as loud as me talking. It's fucking crazy. I wish I could figure out a more controlled environment, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure this whole vlog thing out, you guys, and like to get the best quality of audio and visual and everything and like what you guys want to see. So. Step this way up there. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Yeah, oh, shit. Ooh, fuck. Oh, man. Short person was using this before me, huh? Let's see. Pull it back a little bit. There we go, I think. Too light. No weight on here. That's the... Uh, all right, let's try this one more time. <laughs> okay. Oh, fuck. Fucking back. It's fried. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Wow, fuck. No. Oh, yeah. Why are you there? Why are you there? Why are you there? Why are you there? Once again, one of the best parts about zoo culture is almost no one in here ever. Like fucking seven people in here right now. It's always such, so chill. You can like get your filming or your workout done, whatever. Nobody's ever in your way, you know? Like I said, you don't have to wait for a fucking machine or ask nobody for shit or how many suits you got left. It's not really that kind of gym. It's usually plenty of room and nobody really here to get in your way. So that's always nice. It's the only thing is the music is so fucking loud, but what are you gonna do? Nothing's perfect. Come on. Oh, fuck. Yeah, right. Fix it. Then. Oh, that's left. That should be good. And I kind of stuttered, so maybe. These kids in the background filming their TikToks and shit, man. It's so cool to watch these kids grinding it out all the time. I think a lot of old heads want to be haters because they don't understand. But me witnessing two 19 year olds grinding it out every day, I don't know, to me that shit's cool. You can say whatever you want, but filming TikToks and tripods in the gym and whatever, who gives a fuck? As long as you're working, man, these kids are working. Harder than most. I promise you. Fucking promise you. So say what you want, old heads. But unless you can keep up with these youngsters, man, there's nothing to say. I work hard every day to just be fucking able to chill, just to be able to hang with these young bucks. It's hard, bro. The social media shit, this fitness shit, eating healthy or even fucking eating on a schedule, all of it's so fucking hard, man. Come on. Challenge. Times like this, 
Or I wish my gym had the, the like leg press where you just adjust the weight with the pin. Ours, you have to load it with the fucking weights. It sucks. Using my fucking last bit of energy to uh, load the fucking plates up. Uh, annoying. Oh, fuck. I don't know if I want to go super deep, stress my lower back. But I don't know what, where my what the hell you want to do. Fucking pussy today, or every day. I'm just a fucking pussy in general, you guys. <sighs> Come on. It's weird to have my legs set up for fucking quads and it's hurting my hamstrings. My legs are just fried, I think, from working out with Joe a couple days ago. Ouch. Goodness. Try to knock this out as quick as I can. Get the fuck out of his ear. Bro, well, for real. And over it. Fucking hate leg day, bro. I hate legs and shoulders. I just like doing arms. <laughs> arms, chest, and back. I swear to God. Isn't that every dude, right? <sighs> shoulders are fucking butt. My legs. I can do legs good if I got a girl with me. But doing legs by yourself is fucking weak, weak sauce. So I hate pushing myself crazy hard with my legs so they're so fucking big. Come on. Ah, fuck. <laughs> the boy's a weak bitch today. My legs are fucking scalding hot. Right. All right, last one. I'm gonna get the fuck is out of here, boys. So I was gonna do four exercises and I'm barely doing four. she wrote I'm fried that is a wrap for uh, leg day yeah that was a quick one in and out right who would have saw that coming so this is a bummer this is my gaming PC set up <laughs> in my living room that I've uh, I just put together and I'm having issues with it, so I have to take it back to Best Buy to have them look at it because it keeps crashing. It's super fucking annoying. So this is what I get to deal with today. It's taking apart this, uh, my setup here. But it shouldn't take me too long, and then, uh, then hopefully we'll get it fixed and the stream will be back to normal. sneak peek into how I live, y'all. Nothing too crazy, just a regular, regular house. Live in West Hollywood, which is nice though. Uh, how do I, there we go. 
Okay, easy enough, boys. Try to get this all packed up. Oh, fine. Right? Let's see. Doesn't even really fit on this. It's supposed to go the other way? Maybe, huh? Oh, okay. I see what we're doing here. I'm a dummy. So Joe, how do you feel about this uh, the cyber truck? Uh, I'd be a fan if I could afford it. <laughs> I think isn't we're that all the, just hating. No, I was gonna say, isn't that the truth with anything though, right? Because like you're just like uh, Porsche's not my thing, you know? Like well, right now it's not my thing. Like <laughs> yeah, unless I could just if I could afford a Porsche, it'd definitely be my thing. I guess. <laughs> Since I, mean, I can't. I'm not into it. For sure. I mean, there's a lot of things I could I could afford that I'm not interested in, but that does definitely limit you when it comes to your <laughs> hobby. <laughs> your what your hobbies could even. Would I drive could. it? Yes. Could yeah. I buy it? No. Yeah, but what about like a different Tesla? Say like the like the one with the doors that go up, like uh, the Goldwing. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, they're cool. I just I'm a motorhead man. I like gas engines look for like the family wagon you know what I mean you got to have like some sort of family kind of tour you know I guess you don't want to bring them around the TRX right <laughs> you I could. don't lie I would though yeah, <laughs> Josh of the Jungle does that but that's like you know he's a one of a kind kind of dude Hop in. Uh, later. <laughs> what about you Nick are you a fan of the Tesla truck I don't get why it's getting so much hate, like, I think in 10 years, like, most cars are going to have this kind of aesthetic. I think less, like, I think it's going to be sadly less than 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. Or no, aesthetic, or, I mean, even just electric is what I mean. Well, electric, but also, I think it's just such a rugged design and people aren't used to it, but I'm kind of with, like, this I, I just like how different it is, you know? For sure. How uh, survivalist it looks. Yeah. It's fucking huge. Person. Yeah, it it's is fucking huge. Gigantic. It's massive. I just like how different it is. Like six road by what Sunday, and I'm like six. six? Yeah. Wow. Silver one, that blue one road by. I've seen the blue one. Yeah. Uh, I was not with that. Or it's not even blue. It's like Tiffany. It's like Tiffany with like black on top, <laughs> like the two tones. <laughs> Joe, what about Apple Vision Pro? Nah. Fire. I can't, uh, <laughs> I can't miss what I've never used, and I've never used any VR yeah, stuff you know. before, <laughs> so I don't know what I'm missing out on. I heard watching porn makes it pretty <laughs> Traumatizing? Yeah, I can see. Oh my god, you're oh god, you got oh, oh god! <laughs> like, why am I so close to his nuts? I know, oh gosh. Now the zoom in is terrible. <laughs> I'm like you so you Nick you're into it I think it's so I, I don't I wouldn't want it like I think it's so close to being like it's almost there like I think we talked about it like how it's still you're looking at a screen still once they figure out how to project all the shit that it's projecting onto through like you're seeing reality for how it is That's but then there's is, also right? no because it you're looking at a there's a bunch of cameras set up around it and you're looking at a screen still through the fucking thing, you're not seeing reality. Mm. So you look like at your phone, or you look at a TV. You ever filmed yeah, your like TV? Lines. It's all fucking yeah. like glitchy and shit. Like that's what it's like. 
So once they figure out how to do it like like a bigger version of the Google Glass, where it's like it's projecting what you want to see just onto like actual what you're actually looking at, like that's what that's the goal, I think. Yeah, that'll be fire. Because then you're not you're not getting a fucking headache after an hour of being on the Outfish Pro. Staring at a fucking screen. Yeah. That's so unhealthy. Like, this is fucking unhealthy doing this shit. Like, yeah, no, you're right. That's stupid. I think it's such a dope idea, but they're just, we're just a few years away. They probably have it. They're just, like, <laughs> they're not, people aren't ready for it. They ain't ready it. for it. They ain't ready for this, yeah. Hmm. That makes sense. Yeah, I don't know if I could do either. How about the Apple Vision Pro and a Tesla truck? So, yeah. I mean, so people sick. are already driving. Viral. Yeah, viral. so sick. So viral. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, in a few years, we're going to look at those two things. Like, those are shitty products. Like Yeah, in comparison to where it goes where to. Where it's going to be. Yeah, you're right. 100%. It's just like fucking what? Tape decks, obsolete CDs. Absolutely. Betamax, VHS, Bluetooth. Labor, laser Somehow it's gonna be obsolete. <clears throat> Bluetooth will be obsolete. I think there'll be Bluetooth 2.0 very soon, and it will be like you just it just connects, or you don't even have to do anything, yeah. or something. So you like, aren't touching smart together, or some yeah. Shit. Smart Bluetooth or whatever, you know. Yeah, that one's. It's like how long USB fucking 1.0 ran for right. for fucking 20 years or plus, right? More than that, early to the late nineties is when it kind of debuted. It's been a long time, dude. I mean, you used to have before USB. It was called the PCI port, and it was like this fucking big port, and you screw two things in on the. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. Like, bro, it was that long ago. That's how long ago <laughs> was USB debuted. <laughs> Now it's USB-C. Yeah, USB-C is gas. I like that way better. And it sucks that PC doesn't really utilize it so much, but it is tight. USB-C is fire. It's because they get that cease and desist from Apple. Yeah, it, you can get a USB-C port on your PC, but it's like one, and then there'll be seven USB 3.0 ports. Right. So weird. Speaking of, I'm going to have to... I might get... I'm gonna go look at these called a razor. Uh, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. This brand. There's Fire. a store in Beverly Hills. Yeah. They were, I think they were like first known for like their fucking keyboards and, and all It's a gamer brand, so I think it'll be what I'm looking for. It's so stupid, bro. But I think I'm just gonna have to cave and get like a real brand one. I tried to get the off brand one, thinking it would, you know, the team we won. Hopefully it's not super expensive. We'll see that. Haven't you learned your lesson with this with the camera? Everything. everything else? It's always the same shit. It's it's just so annoying. I just was didn't want to get too far deep into it. It's always how it works. I'm just trying to keep it cheap, you know. But it saves you fucking no headache or time in the end. So now I get to have no stream for whatever until I get the computer again. I mean, your decisions are making you well equipped with customer service lines. What do you mean? From calling to get them returned or whatever. You they already did it. I was like, I don't want this. <laughs> no, I went into the Best Buy and the technician told me to return it. I know, yeah. He was all, dude, just return this shit. Because he said that there was nothing wrong with it. It just wasn't capable of doing what I wanted it to do. It was so stupid. It's wild for. It was playing like the other game perfect, like Cuphead didn't have a glitch or there was no issues, you know? I thought Fortnite was like middle ground. Like, I don't know. Like, yeah, I didn't think Fortnite was some crazy game to play. You can play it on my Xbox. I know. Well, I guess that's like made for games, but mm -hmm. still. I don't know, we're gonna go to the store, see what they say, the gaming store, they'll know what's up. And then I gotta figure out what, how, what I wanna do for a desk setup. I gotta move it. I can't just live on my living room in my dining room table forever. Right. This is just a temporary solution. But I wanted to, the whole plan was to get everything sorted first before I put it where it needs to belong. I don't wanna like <laughs> build out this area where it belongs and have to be pulling it out, throwing it, you know, right. exactly what's happening. I want everything to just get dialed in. And Were you looking at a Razor laptop or that was just what was on no, the No, 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 a desktop. Yeah. I want, I gotta get a desktop. 
I have the two uh, screens still, the Samsung monitors. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. Can't. They were good ways. For no, sure. they're good. I mean, I could return them too, but there's no. They're good. And they're in decent price and the 165 refresh rate. They're like gamer monitors, you know. Yeah. So they'll be good for uh, for whatever. And yeah, definitely Fortnite and Call of Duty Warfare and fucking Counter Strike all should be able to play, no problem. Apex and uh, you know, I want to play more games that are a little bit even more the Hell Diver Two game and shit, mm -hmm. a little bit more uh, tolling on your system. But yeah. if I can't even get fucking Fortnite to run on stream, that's not gonna, that's not a good look. So whatever, we'll figure this shit out. Deshaun's supposedly gonna help me, but you know, he's kind of a lagger. Whatever. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, it is, it is 10 o'clock. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock in the evening. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm definitely not gonna do this again. I'm going to go back to my new normal uh, format of just doing the vlog uh, till after the gym and then <laughs> uploading it at the shop or whatever. Uh, yeah, anyways, appreciate you guys sticking it out with me. Hope you guys enjoyed the bonus content. I'm going to figure out how to incorporate the shop into this vlog and shit, but maybe not uh, so often. Maybe, I don't know. I'll, maybe I'll just put it on the channel and not necessarily on the vlog. Anyways, appreciate you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Like, comment, and subscribe. You know the deal. Peace.